Joining me is State Representative Tujan. Tu, thanks for joining me. Thanks, thanks for taking the time to come and uh, join us here at the State Capitol. Well, you're welcome. It's our pleasure. So who do you represent? Um, so my district is House District 53A. Um, it's part of the city of Maplewood, part of Oakdale, all of the city of Landfall, and then the western portion of the city of Woodbury. Very yeah. good. Now, you were newly elected this past November. Yes. Uh, congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you. And how is how have things been going for you? Uh, you know, right now, people still come and congratulate me in my office, you know, if constituents comes for a visit. And it feels like it's been three years already, but uh, to think of it, it's only been three months. Uh, but certainly a lot has been happening here at the Capitol. And on that note, too, um, what uh, legislation have you been uh, currently working on? Uh, well, I'm working on uh, a lot of bills that are in relation to the committees that I sit in. Uh, I'm on property tax committee, which is a subcommittee, and we're working um, a lot on local government aid, uh, county program aid. Um, and so three of the four cities that I represent receive, um, you know, local government aid. And so we're working on that, trying to uh, make increases uh, that would you know, help local governments, you know, address budgetary issues and um, certain financial constraints that local government works on. Uh, and certainly I'm on higher education and local government. And so uh, workforce development is a really big issue um, here for the state of Minnesota. And so I've been working on that. One issue that, you know, I'm not on any of the committees, but I, you know, try to talk to some of the committee members who do sit on uh, the Health and Human Services Committee in particular uh, legislation relating to, uh, you know, senior care or adult care and working on bills that can help, you know, assist, you know, uh, seniors in our district. Well, very important issues yeah. for sure, yeah. yeah. What has surprised you most about working at the Capitol? You know, I think the pace, the pace of it. In the beginning, there was a lot of catching up and a lot of overview. When we went first went to committee, it was more like classrooms because they're laying out the budget or how we address a tax bill and what's going to come up. And then now it's like everything, all sorts of different legislation. For example, Veterans Affairs, uh, local government, taconite mining, and so all these different issues coming up all at once. Uh, trying to meet deadline and so the pace of it has definitely picked up you know I tell myself oh there's gonna be deadlines we, we got to prep but like actually living through it in those late night meetings and having to uh, come to the, the Capitol you know early in the morning and then staying really late th those were things that you know physically I just wasn't prepared for <laughs> yeah <laughs> A lot of stamina, a lot, yeah, of, uh, yeah. a lot of endurance, yeah. getting around and everything, yeah. absolutely. Two, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you know, just wanted to thank all the constituents that have taken the time to write to me, to uh, share with me their views on issues. I really appreciate constituents taking the time to write to me, to share their voices with me so that I can take it and advocate for them and say that my constituent in Woodbury or Oakdale or Maplewood they, they are concerned about X, and this is what they're telling me. And so I want to, you know, advocate for this position to, you know, lower, you know, drug prices, to put a tuition freeze. And so really, really uh, appreciate constituents reaching out, just seeing that their voice, you know, is helping me advocate for positions. And so I, I really appreciate that. Representative Zhang, thank you yeah. very much for taking the time to meet with us today. Appreciate no problem. It. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>